Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new here, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I actually recorded this last night, but all of the footage was out of focus. Like I was blurry the entire, like there wasn't even anything salvage, salvageable from that footage. Plus I had some mishaps. <laughs> with the foundation and other things like that. So I was like, you know what? It's all right. It is okay, Allie. Don't stress about it. Don't be frustrated. Cause I really wanted you guys to see my raw first impressions, but you know what? We're just gonna play with the makeup today. I have some thoughts on it, so that's good. Um, but yeah, at least now I know what works, how to use it. And I can give you guys tips or kind of like a, like a, kind of like a mini speed review since I did do it yesterday. But y'all, I was kind of upset, but being so I told myself, you know what? It's okay, don't get frustrated, don't get stressed. It's not like you can't film again. It's not like that was a once in a lifetime opportunity or video. So here we are again, refilming the video. And so these are a lot of the product, well, these are a lot of the products that I just recently hauled in my haul video that's probably already up. So as you guys saw, one of the things that I got, cause I noticed I don't have my brows on. So one of the things that was in there was actually this sketch and set brows pencil from Tarte. And I liked this because it had the brow gel on one end and the pencil on the other end. And it wasn't like a definer tip, it's actually like a pencil tip. And when I used this yesterday, I actually really, really liked the product. Now, if you're somebody who you want this bully on your pencil, maybe this brow pencil isn't for you because like I said, it has a gel on the other side, not the spoolie, but that doesn't bother me because I have lots of eyebrow brushes. So I have lots of extra spoolies. So um, this color, and I got the shade medium brown, and I had got the shade knowing that my hair color was fixing a change because it's about to be summertime. It's already slightly starting to get lighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not as, cool toned brown and dark anymore. But anyways, it's starting to turn more of a red toned brown rather than a super dark cool toned brown. So that's why I ended up getting the medium brown because I knew it wouldn't be too red by the time I use most of this pencil. And I'm glad that I did that because this is actually a really good pencil. So I know I'm going to be using it a lot. Okay, so that is what the brows look like. This brow pencil is so easy to use. And I love how it fills them in without making them kind of look like blocks, like you can still see all of your hair. So it is a little bit more natural. And because I went down in the shade and my hair's not as dark, I feel like my brows don't look as bold as they usually look or obviously as dark as they usually look or intense. So yeah. So for concealer, I am gonna go ahead and use the Ordinary Full Coverage Concealer. I used this yesterday and I really, really like this concealer. Now a little bit does go quite a long way. So I'm literally taking that teeny tiny dot right there and we're just gonna go ahead and clean up our brows with that. Okay, so brows are done. This is them cleaned up. Like I said, I always, always get concealer in my brow, no matter what. Always get concealer on the brows I just did. And then I'm like, what was the point? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is prime our eyelids. And I know I brought up. I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay one because it was in the drawer that I had to grab the palette out of. Yesterday I had actually primed my eyelids with this concealer. <gasps> Maybe that's why the eyeshadows weren't working right. I guess we'll find out today. Anyways, I, I did use this to prime my eyelids because I had it, I didn't pull out a eyeshadow primer. And these eyeshadows, let me just go ahead and tell you what palette I'm using. So I'm, oh my gosh, I'm using the Rustic Glam Dominique Cosmetics palette. And so yesterday when I was using this color right here, this cactus shade, it was really patchy, it was really hard to blend out. I would pack it on, blend, pack it on, blend. But it was so patchy to where I would keep blending and then I would just blend like literally all the color away. But now that I say it out loud that I use that concealer to prime my lids with, 
I'm wondering if maybe that was the reason. And what I'm also learning whew, with these Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadows is that they are pigmented, but also very, very powdery. Like the DC emblem. Mind you, this is only my second time using this palette, literally my second time. And this emblem right here, this DC is already wearing off on this, um, what is it called? Free Spirit Shade. Now today, <laughs> I went in with a really bold look last night. I used this, I used Cactus, and then I used Suede, and then I used Wonderlust. And it was a pretty, really pretty green smoky eye. Uh, as much as I want to play, as much as I wanna play with the blues, I'm just not going to today because I have orange on, but, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Desert Queen and start blending that into my crease. So it's just this orange shade right here. Wow, you see how powdery these are? And that's because I'm not like jamming my brush in there. I'm just ever so lightly tapping in there. And they're so pigmented. Gosh, I really wanna play with those blues. All right, we're gonna do it. I'm taking the evil eye and we're just gonna start blending that into our crease as well. This is a Morphe blending brush, just a white haired blending brush. Okay, I'm starting to think that these bolder shades are just not blendable because I'm struggling with this blue the same way I was struggling with the cactus green and I may have to wipe this off because it's just not doing what I need it to do so we may have to start from scratch I look like a freaking clown y'all decide if I like this or not. I'm gonna see what it looks like with lashes on because nobody's coming to help save me. Um, yeah, we're just gonna start over. All right, starting to be like, oh, that's why that palette was on sale. But anyways, going back in with Desert Queen. Sunflower. Now, I'm just gonna go straight in with suede. Going in with Bohemian and putting that on the center. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the lashes. I'm using the Kiss Kiss Lux Lux Extension Lash Collection in the style cashmere, and I'm going to apply those. And then we oh nope got a coat. I want to show you guys this mascara. So there is a new mascara, and that new mascara is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. I love this packaging. I don't know. I feel like it's unique and different. And then like the metallic. Now. This mascara smells exactly like the Maybelline um, Stiletto Mascara. And I feel like it gives the lashes the same effect from what I can remember. My eyes hurt now from rubbing off that eyeshadow. Okay. So this is what the lashes are looking like. I don't know if you guys can see, 
but they look really, really pretty. I feel like on a day where I'm not wearing anything like on my eyelids, like no eyeshadow at all, this is gonna be super duper pretty. So now I'm gonna go in with the lashes. I need to trim these a lot. These are really big. Okay, you guys, so lashes are on. These are really dramatic, but also really pretty. Okay, so yesterday when I filmed this video, I tried using this ordinary coverage film, this ordinary, uh, the ordinary full coverage coverage foundation. I got the shade 21 Y, which is medium with yellow undertones. This is more tan. You can see the swatches in my um, haul. And this is just what it looks like in the bottle. It's dark. It made me look straight up Oompa Loompa orange. So we're not gonna use that one today because I already know. And I would love to see what this cup, what this formula is like on its own, but I just, like that's my second time buying it and I cannot get the shade right. So instead, what I'm going to do is use my Rare Beauty foundation. And I have this one in the shade 250W. Now when I bought this one, I thought this was gonna be too dark for me, but it's not. It's actually my perfect shade. I really don't need that much. You really don't need as much as I put on. You really don't. And I'm just gonna take my LA Girl sponge and start blending that out. Oh, and I primed my face before the video and I used my Spashbox Primerizer Primer, my Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer, and the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. So now going in with the Ordinary Concealer, what I'm actually gonna do is just take it on this brush here, which I use to clean up my brows and just start applying it. I feel like that's gonna be the best way to apply this concealer. So one thing about this concealer is I feel like it has a slightly gray undertone to it, if that makes sense, because this is actually supposed to have like a yellow golden undertone, but I feel like this is slightly gray. Like, I don't know. Could just be me. I could be tripping. I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, once it sits on the skin, I'm seeing that gray undertone kind of fade away. And as you blend it out, it kind of lightens up, if that makes sense. Yeah, I see it's getting lighter whenever I blend it out. Like it doesn't look like it's going to brighten when I initially put it on, but once I start to blend it out, you can see where it has brightened. This concealer is so freaking pretty. And I don't know if it's the foundation with the primer, like I don't know if it's that combo, but I really like this concealer. Even last night, I have fine lines, but it didn't crease and into the fine lines or it didn't settle or anything like that. Like I really, really like this concealer, you guys. And it's only like five bucks. So I would find your shade, pick it up. You do have to order it. At least for me, I have to order it online. It's not sold inside of my Ulta stores. So if you have the actual complexion products sold in your Ulta stores, good for you, go for it. Lubbock is really too big to have only one Ulta. And I really feel like we need another one and another Target, even though we already have two. I feel like we need one like on the Southwest side of Lubbock, but who am I? So anyways, I did not buy a new cream bronzer or powder bronzer or powder blush and highlight. So all of those things I'm going to speed through, but I will let you know what I'm using. So I'm, for a cream bronzer, I'm just gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Chestnut. Okay, now for a blush, I'm taking, yesterday I used this called Kaja blush, and these are really pretty, but honestly, you guys, I feel like you could save the money and buy the e.l.f. cream blushes because they're the exact same texture and they're like the exact same balminess. And I mean, the e.l.f. ones are cheaper, so you could probably get like three e.l.f. ones for the price of this, because I want to say this was like 15 to 18 bucks. So you could get about two to three e.l.f. blushes compared to these two tiny ones because the elf ones are ginormous. 
And yeah, but these are really good and this is really pretty and really cute. But for today, I really wanna use the Rare Beauty Blush in Joy. And your girl has learned her lesson of not going ham. Did I learn? Did, did you learn your lesson, Ellie? That's gonna be so much. I was gonna say I learned my lesson from going ham with these blushes and then I apply a whole half a freaking dot. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? See, you don't need a lot of this. I had to drag some to this side. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? I need to start putting it on the back of my hand because your girl be struggling with life. Every time, every time. It never fails, you guys. Somebody come take these blushes away from me ASAP. Okay, we made it work as always, thank goodness. So we are gonna go ahead and go, we are gonna go ahead and set. And the powder I picked up was this Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Now, when I first looked at this last night, I was really nervous because it has some shimmer in it. But let me tell you, this is really pretty on the skin. And it makes your under eyes look the perfect amount of glowy if that makes sense but you have to be very light-handed with this I recommend using a brush I would not use a sponge with this because you don't want that pink tint to stick but this powder with this uh concealer combo oh my gosh you cannot go wrong with it so I like to set where I put concealer with the brush and then like I mean, I'm gonna use a brush all over my face, but I like to use a very precise brush for the places I put concealer, just to really, really make sure that that is set down. But then I'm gonna go in with a bigger powder brush and do a light dusting on the rest of my face. I feel like my mistake last night was that I tried to set my entire face with a small setting brush like this, and it really, really concentrated that pink, um, that pink undertone in this powder, but if you blend it out properly, you don't get that pink cast to it. And that's why I say, I feel like if you use a sponge with this, unless you're very fair skinned and you have those pink undertones, I would not recommend setting with the sponge with this. So yeah, it just adds like this perfect glow all over the skin without like being way too much. And like I said, the under eyes, like it sets the under eyes beautifully. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the shade that had the brush that had desert queen on it start dusting that along the lower lash line okay but i do want to take a brown eyeliner and this is actually let's talk about this in my favorites and this is actually like my favorite brow eyeliner and this is from Araceli and this is their Ojos Perfectos Gel Eye Pencil Eyeliner and this one is just in brown chocolate. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go into the Rustic Glam Palette and I wanna go in with this purple shimmer shade right here in Gypsy and just dust that really, really close to the lower lash line just for a little and we're gonna do more of a push than a sweep. But I don't want that glitter to get everywhere. Very, very subtle, like you can hardly tell, but it's really pretty. Like you could probably tell if you're a person that pays attention to detail. Okay, and then again, of course, going in with that same mascara and applying it to our lower lashes. All right, you guys. So instead of doing like, since I didn't grab like a powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight to try out for today's video, what I did was I just went through my collection and I just picked up some things that I hardly ever, rarely don't ever use. So I'm using the Morphe um, highlight and contour palette and this is their 8L. And so I'm actually just gonna go in with Donut right here and use that to bronze up the skin. And then we're gonna use the e.l.f. little bite size cheek. Oh, just like really dug my nail into that hardcore. We're gonna use the e.l.f. bite size cheek duo and this one is in the shade Cantaloupe. And we're gonna use this for blush and highlight today. First of all, look at how that mascara has my lower lashes. Bomb. 
need to put something on my inner corner, but I cannot find the pencil brush. Here it is. I cannot find the pencil brush I grabbed for my inner corner. I'm gonna curl and combine the lashes. Okay, okay. So now let's go ahead and set our brows. And we're using this other end of this pencil, which is the brow gel. And you guys, if I did not barely try this out yesterday, this would be in my April favorites. I might even give it an honorable mention because this little brow gel on here is amazing. Like I would repurchase this whole eyebrow pencil. Well, the pencil is really good too, but this gel, this brow gel, oh my freaking Lanta. Okay, so now for lips, I didn't want to do anything too crazy, but I'm gonna go in with the new, my new LA Girl lip pencil in Sugar and Spice. I'm gonna use this just to outline. I don't know why I thought that this was gonna be deeper or more brown. Like in my mind, when I bought it, I could have swore this was gonna... Y'all, this isn't sugar and spice. This is a bear. Hold on. Now I got sugar and spice. I'm such an idiot. Okay, but I am gonna go in with nude and put that in the center. Oh yeah, baby, that's the nude I've been looking for all my life. And that's it, just kidding. Just kidding, where's my Lauren Conrad lipstick? I know I pulled it out. I know I pulled it out to use. Here it is. And this is a Lauren Conrad lipstick in Shell, and I just got this in my Ipsy. And then I'm gonna go in with the This Is Milky Gloss. Oh, I feel like I have so much product on my lips. I don't like that feeling. All right, you guys. I don't like the way that looks. I don't like the way that looks. And now we will set with our Milani Make It Last Fruit Fetish, or Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last in Dragon Fruit Peach. Okay. Had that confused with my next one for a second. I was watching Leela's uh, video that she posted with her hair straight and she was setting her makeup. And she's like, I feel like when I straighten my hair, my edges are the first thing to go. And I was like, girl, girl, same. Cause you can't work out, cause you can't sweat. Your edge is gonna be gone. You can't set your makeup cause your edge is gonna be gone. You can't even wash your face right because your edge is gonna be gone when you shower. Like the edges are just, Curly hair girls problems whenever they straighten their hair. Boy, the edges just be gone. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love these lashes. I love all three pairs that I've already tried of these. I only have three pairs in this line, at least that I saw on Ulta. And then this eyeshadow palette, you guys. Ah. Uh, I'm really gonna have to keep playing with this because so far, these two shades right here, no. These two shades right here, Cactus and Evil Eye, have been garbage. Like, and I don't say that to be mean. Like, I'm saying from truly trying to blend them out, pack them on and try. I was able to make Cactus work last night. I cannot get Evil Eye, I could not get Evil Eye to work today. I mean, you guys saw, like, I had to wipe it all off and start all over. But I'm gonna have to keep playing with it because if these are the only two duds, cool, awesome, great, don't mind it. But now, if we get into these other colorful ones like i don't know if the palette's worth it so your girl's gonna keep playing with this i'll try to give you guys an update on it at the end of the month and i mean at, at the end of may and let you guys know but so far it was this is a struggle bus to work with the colors in here the neutrals are great but like i said i don't know if that palette would be worth paying for only for the neutral shades when you could get a neutral palette from the drugstore super super cheap so this powder you guys i already kind of told you guys i really really like this palette palette powder it adds a nice subtle glow i feel like this is going to be the perfect setting powder for springtime and summertime because if you like that glowy skin look pick this up i got mine online i'm not sure if it's only online you can check ulta i'll link everything down below but I really, really like this palette. Like I said, it's going to be perfect for spring and summer because it's going to add that glow to your skin without being shimmery, without being way too glowy. Just a really nice, pretty, natural glow. Um, you guys know that I love these blushes. I mean, obviously I love them. If I picked up a second one, like who? Who does she think she is buying 
another high-end blush like who is she somebody come take her debit card from her somebody but anyways yes i really really like this color this color is so pretty i now see why people keep hyping up this shade joy like they hyped it up so much to the point where i was like i need that shade i need joy so yeah that's why i went ahead and picked this one up you know, NYX really has some really good glosses. I really want to compare these to their butter glosses to see if maybe you should just save the money and only stick to their butter glosses or if these are really worth the extra price. Love the mascara. This is going to be my new favorite concealer. I can already tell. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, look how pretty my under eye looks. Like, maybe I should, I don't know. I'm not going to buy a different shade. Who am I kidding? Because I have to order these products online but this mascara these lower lashes look amazing i'm so stuffy nose right now i'm so sorry you guys i know that sounds disgusting but yeah you guys know that i love the la girl lip precision lip, lip precision lip liners gonna try to find a new shade in this see i don't know i'm gonna try to return this and see if maybe i can order a different shade in store can you do that can you exchange in store for something that you bought online because i already threw the little receipt thing away I didn't mean to, but I did. So, yeah, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!